All right, uh, Red Lobster for the seafood lover in you. I got skills, uh, but this isn't seafood. We're gonna check out a brand new burger from the folks over at Red Lobster. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Wagyu beef, Wagyu beef, Wagyu beef. Uh, there's so many different ways to say it. Some people say Wagyu. Uh, I heard the correct pronunciation on one of those videos on YouTube, uh, how to pronounce, and it's uh, very similar to Wagyu, but there's a little bit of an alliteration after the G. I'm just going to say Wagyu. I think it's Wagyu. Wagyu. I believe it's Wagyu. I'm tired of saying it already, uh, but they have a Wagyu uh, burger and they use Wagyu beef uh, for this burger and it has bacon. It's the Wagyu bacon cheeseburger. $11.49 has cheese and uh, lettuce and tomato. Very basic. Comes with a side of fries. $11.49. And uh, you also get two Cheddar Bay biscuits. I am going to film a separate video because I have thoughts on those. They might not coincide as to what you believe uh, those Cheddar Bay biscuits are, but uh, stay tuned for that video. We're going to get into this burger, Wagyu beef at Red Lobster. Hmm. All right, check it out right there. The lettuce game is a little bit weak. Uh, the tomatoes are thick, not a huge fan of that. Uh, but you see the beef right there, that's what we came here for. The cheese and there is the bacon. The bacon looks pretty good right there, so let's check it out. All right, we're definitely gonna check this out. Uh, 11.49, like I said, with uh, the fries. And uh, yeah, here we go. And you got the two Cheddar Bay biscuits. Uh, we're gonna go right into this section right here. That seems like a uh, meaty section and uh, the time of day, this is later in the day. I don't normally film this late. So I had to do a little fancy footwork with all the lighting. I have some stuff up here blocking the sun rays that are trying to come through. But here we go, Wagyu beef over at uh, Red Lobster. If you're not familiar with uh, Wagyu beef, I kind of glossed over it. It is a very uh, severely marbleized piece of beef. So as you know, the marbling uh, gives it that flavor and uh, I'm hoping for some good flavors. So uh, wish me luck. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, Red Lobster. Okay, Red Lobster. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to say this. I went into this with an open mind. I'm like, okay, Wagyu beef, fair enough. But Wagyu beef from Red Lobster, I was a little skeptical. I'm gonna take a piece of the meat right here. I got it cooked uh, medium well, little bit of pink in there. That is a uh, chunk of the Wagyu beef. Let me try this on its own because I already have thoughts after that first bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's really good. That is surprisingly good. That is so flavorful. I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me, ghetto boys, because they're telling me it's uh, Wagyu beef, so I'm thinking it tastes better. No, 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 it tastes better. I know this tastes better. And the bun is fresh. Uh, the ingredients on the inside, like I said, tomato a little too thick for me, and uh, the lettuce, uh, very uh, chunky lettuce, and you have like the hard stalks. Uh, on the lettuce, but the cheese is melted. We're going in for a bacon bite this time, so uh, second bite. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. All right, I'm also gonna include the buttery flavor that you have uh, going on in the bottom of the buns, uh, the toasted uh, buttery bun. This is a really good burger. It reminds me of uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. I'm so hungry I can eat a sandwich from a gas station. I'm so hungry I can eat a Wagyu beef burger from Red Lobster. Yeah, and I walked in the Red Lobster. Hadn't been into Red Lobster in, uh, I don't know, 20 years, something like that. 20 to 25 years since I've stepped inside a uh, Red Lobster. They had the lobster tank in there. Felt sorry for the little guys, even though that's my favorite food. And then I'm like, I'm ordering a burger from uh, Red Lobster. What could go wrong? Nothing. 
This is a really, really good tasting burger. The flavors on there are on point. They cooked it perfectly. Just a little bit of pink in there, soft bun. I, I mean, if it had a little bit uh, better lettuce and uh, had no tomatoes, because I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, or if they were just sliced thinner, uh, the bacon is legit too. The bacon is legit too. Red Lobster. For the seafood lover in you, that's their slogan, or at least it was back in the day. Uh, this is good. This is really, really good. I'm enjoying this. 11.49 too. If it really is the uh, Wagyu, then I am all on board for this. And this is uh, so far uh, fully endorsed. Uh, last bite. I mean, it's a good burger. All right, so listen, I think I filled you in on everything I can fill you in on uh, regarding this Wagyu beef uh, bacon cheeseburger. I'm almost forgetting about the uh, bacon a little bit, even though it was legit bacon uh, because of the flavor of that uh, burger. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, not overly salty. Nice little flavor on there. Probably only seasoned with a couple little things here and there. I'm doing a little sprinkle dance. Uh, but yeah, let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the Wagyu Beef a Bacon Cheeseburger from Red Lobster a rating of... It's a 94. I'm giving a burger from Red Lobster a 94. I, I mean, what? It came with ketchup and mayonnaise as well. Nice little presentation in that uh, coffin of goodness. Um, I would get that again. I would get that again in a heartbeat and I definitely fully endorse it, uh, stamp of approval. Whatever that means. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, that's it. I'm about to film a uh, possible controversial video with these Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Stay tuned. All right, bonus footage. Uh, before I film this, uh, leave comments below in this video because I will launch the video later in the day uh, or tomorrow. Uh, what are your thoughts on these? The Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster. I've not had them in 25 years, but I'm going out on the limb. I did not enjoy these, uh, especially did not enjoy these as much as everyone puts them up on the pedestal. I mean, I mean, come on.